Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, and welcome back to Boundless. Okay, today I had some plans for us, and I wanted to start off my series of hidden gems because that was something that was my goal for Boundless this year, um, was to feature a city, um, if not every week, once a month. I'm not sure how often I was going to do this, but I thought that it would be a great idea to show people in the community or people that don't even play Boundless some of the hidden gems that are in this game. And what I mean by hidden gems are those cities that maybe aren't so well known or bills that aren't so well known or bills that maybe I've never seen. And there's quite a few bills that I've never seen. So maybe you've seen it and maybe they're popular in the forums, but something that I don't quite know anything about and was in awe. So please forgive me if this is repeat, uh, repeat information for you. But I thought that I would kick off this series um, with my settlement or the guild that I'm in and it's called Star Hollow's Purple Rain. The reason why it's called that is because originally uh, where I'm standing now used to be just Purple Rain and it was founded by um, Brit, Miss Brit Gaming, Cosmic Mermaid and myself and we've built it up over a period of time and um, eventually the people that were probably the, the most helpful in the game decided that they were going to pack up from um, Femme and move over to uh, Tana where we're at. So we became one guild and here we are today. So, um, again, Tana is not very well, well, it's not, I should say it's not very well known because Tana is basically DK Mall. And if you're a player of Boundless, you know where uh, DK Mall is and you know who DK Puncherello is. I'm probably saying DK's name wrong. But um, for those of you who don't play Boundless, DK Mall is a shop. It's a huge mall where we all, and you can kind of see it off in the distance. Um, if you play Dragon Age, that kind of looks like the dark city up there. I don't know. Anyways, so um, we all pretty much shop there. There's all kinds of malls in the game, but DK Mall is probably, um, is one of the, one of the most well-known or frequented malls um, in the game, at least that I know of. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Anyway, so I decided that we would start with Tana because this is where I call my home in Boundless. And um, you've probably, you've seen the settlement here where I'm at, or at least this part of the settlement, um, but I haven't featured the main hub. Um, so I will do like a quick once around of the um, Purple Rain District. And I say district because our guild is divided into districts. Some of it is themed, some of it is not. Um, and there is a lot to see and I won't go through every building and I may miss a section or two simply because I don't want this video to be too long and I've ran my mouth, let's just be honest, for a little too long right now. Anyways, this is the portal that you come in um, from DK Mall for Purple Rain. There is a portal right next to it called Star Hollows that is to our main hub. So you're more than welcome to hop in and look at I or start in either area. But um, we got a floating tree here. Uh, you have to excuse that. This is a work in progress over here in Purple Rain, just like most of our city. But um, this is where we started here. OK, this is where I started, sort of. It's grown from that and then it's, you know, evolved into this. But um, just a quick once around of Purple Rain. I am not a professional by any means, please, you guys. I'm not going to do any like fancy editing or anything like that. You're just going to get the full pixie here, all right? So it's going to be, um, you know, stumbles and all. This is not HGTV, okay? <laughs> anyway, so this is uh, Ryan House, or uh, Ryan Hen's house, and um, he's new to the game. I think I've told you guys before. His build is amazing for him to be very new, um, but you saw, you see he's gotten into the swing of things. That's something way better than what I've done. Over here is um, a farm that was started by Miss Brick Gaming and her her uh, her pie, um, her restaurant. So like I said, it is a work in progress over here. 
I am definitely going to um, enjoy fixing up this area um, along with my other guildmates. Um, and this is uh, Wickers and Thing. This is one of one of my three stores uh, that I manage, and I'm possibly going to be opening up another store. I don't know. We'll see. Got to figure that out. Got to talk to my guildmates about it. Uh, this is MB's uh, little bill that she's done over here. Um, I think this is quite cool. It, it goes really well with the purple rain theme. Um, it is very purple over here. If you like purple, this is the place for you. If not, you know, we've got a, we got something for everybody. Um, this is Cosmic Mermaid. She decided that she was going to start building underground, which, you know what? I can't blame her. I actually do like building underground myself. Um, more or less because I think there's the challenges of the nooks and crannies and I love little hidden things. This is Glam Slam. If you're not a Prince fan, we can't be friends, okay? No. Um, Glam Slam is a well-known club over Minnesota. It was the legend Prince's um, dance club. This was a build by Digby for Cosmic Mermaid. And this is our little plaza and this is the... Um, Prince Assemble. So again, if you're not a Prince fan, you we can't be friends. <laughs> anyway, so these are one of many Mel or Miss Britt Gamey um, builds her homes uh, for her Finas. Um, and uh, this is her planet. She shut it down, unfortunately, but I totally understand. It is a lot to maintain um, if you're not in the game. But yeah, so um, you can see, like I said, this is a work in progress, but we have actually added quite a bit to um, this area, including this bridge. I did this yesterday, um, yesterday when I'm recording this. Um, and um, this is still, I'm working on this. I'm actually in the process of rebuilding a lot of my area. And this little area was built by Lance. You guys do recall, oh, he's, he's, he's doing it. He's doing it. Um, so he said he's done with the wall and this is a really cool wall that he's got going on here. Um, it's not surrounding the entire build. It's supposed to be kind of broken up. Um, it looks amazing for it to be broken up. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Okay. So we're going to quickly, um, run over to, whoops, I don't want to break anything. Let me put my hammer away before I tear something up and then I'll be highly upset with myself. Um, so we're going to run across the water. We do have a portal. There's MB. Um, she's in a hurry as usual. She's probably Hi doing one of her timed runs across the settlement. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk to her briefly. Um, all right. Just going to tell her I'm recording my guild tour. Um, and looks like there's a blood uh, or or visker. I know I'm saying his name wrong. But... Um, he is one of our guild leaders. Um, anyways, okay, so um, yeah, we're pretty, we're a pretty active guild. We're fairly active. We are a small guild, but we are active, and we've had some new members join us. One of which is built on top of this mountain. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say hello to Blood as well. Of course, you guys have seen this boat before. Um, Okay, just gonna go ahead and quickly type this up. Sorry guys, I told you, you're just gonna get pixie and all. So, um, all right, so let's head on. We're walking, we're walking. Keep it moving guys, keep it moving. Over here is where Digby Caesar builds quite a few um, of his lavishness. So this is the lab that is from Stranger Things. I never remember this when I come across it. I am a fan of Stranger Things, so don't judge me. I just have a terrible, terrible memory. Um, but this is amazing insight. I'm not going to take you through it. It would take me forever. So I just, I really highly recommend that you guys come look at this. The, the amount of detail that went into this build is fab phenomenal. I would say um, take the time to come in and turn off all lights. Um, don't bring any torches. Don't bring, turn off your body lights everything turn it all off okay so you get the full effect um this is his tiki build it's a nice little relaxing area um this is a up and coming build i believe this is digby's son's area um he's taking a break from the game but he will return um over here we have our foom uh game and it's something that digby caesar has come up with and i think it's an awesome game um 
And we had a little um, Christmas feast uh, together, and this was kind of fun. This was really fun. Loved it. Okay, now over here is our Viking themed area. Um, I'm going to see if I can get across it somewhere else. Otherwise, this is just a far off look at it. Um, so yes, Viking themed. And if you like Skyrim, uh, like I do, there is some uh, Skyrim Easter eggs there too. This is a, a little game that Lancelot built and another ride that Digby is famous for in the game. Um, in this area, we have a lot of builds by Blood Raven and MB and Lancelot and other guildmates. Right here is the Permadeath Cemetery. Um, Raven or Blood Raven or Risker, the guy that you saw on the bridge, he is doing a series where he built or makes a new tune and it's hardcore basically. If that tune dies, he has to start over. So um, he's had three deaths so far. Um, yeah, this one, this last one here, I think it was, oh yes, the December 31st, that one, it went fast, it was crazy. This is our post office, which is a really cool build. Um, Anunnaki, am I saying this right? Anunnaki Forging. Um, this is a build by MB. I'm not, I'm gonna try not to go in these buildings, guys. I really am. Um, this is Radling. Radling is new I'll to the game um, as of last I'll week, and he's new to the guild. Of course, if he's new to the game, he's new to the guild, right? I thought it was just redundant. Um, so yeah, these are some of the really, really cool builds here. Um, this is a raven. Anything that has to do with corruption, that's all raven, okay? That's all blood raven. Um, he's in the process of building our boundless, our museum for um, Boundless. Um, and this is another really cool area. I don't know what's gonna go on over here, but I love this, really. It looks like a um, X-Wing, kind of. And if you're not a Star Wars fan, we can't be friends, okay? There, there's another stipulation to friendship, okay? No, I'm kidding. If you're not a Star Wars fan, I, I get it. I understand. Um, and what I, what I mean by Star Wars, I mean the originals and uh, maybe some of the newer... Not not the new episodes, but okay, let's not even get into that, okay? Um this is another one of Raven's build. Like I said, corruption, anything like that, that is all Raven. He's got some really, really interesting builds. This is the beginning of one of Digby's builds here, and this is his steamboat. This build is crazy. I want you guys to come see this too. Digby has an eye for detail. And not to say that any of the, none of the other guild members do, because we all do, or they all do, because I'm still working on my building skills. Um, I really am. This is a house by Digby. Very cool. Another Another one that you must see. Um, his man cave is down there too. That's his storage room. This was done by Lance. Isn't this cool? This was for Christmas. I thought this was really cute. Um, some new farms that will be going up uh, soon, TM. I don't know. Um, this is another ride that Digby built. And this is one of our initiation. See this here? See that long rope across? Well, I did a recording of me walking across it. Uh, there is a secret that they did not tell me. Um, had I known that secret, I wouldn't have been as scared about going across it. But I'm not going to let you guys in on that secret. So if you decide to join the guild and you want to take the initiation, you're going to have to figure it out. You're going to find out on your own. Um, here's another little build. I thought this was really cool. It kind of reminds me of the Pantheon a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Our donation area. Um, I feel like I'm like doing like a, um, a tour of a house. I don't know. This is our main hub. Down here, we, obviously, we have all these portals for people who want to open them up um, to their planets or stores or whatever. And we just have guild um, stuff going on down here, like the uh, two guild um, uh, planets uh, managed by Blood Raven. Um, Arborous Prime, that is, I believe... Um, I don't know whose that is. I think that might be, well, that's a new guildie or new member or new players planet. Um, I'm thinking about moving my portal um, to Fantasia, from Fantasia over here. But uh, quite a few people use Fantasia. Um, this is our guild, uh, um, what is this? This is our guild vault, I believe. It's kind of cool, isn't it? I love the look. This is definitely a Lance. He's got this lock, doesn't he? 
I was gonna say. Oh, this is all Lance. Lava, this is definitely, this is huge. I didn't even know this was down here. Look at this. Okay, I said that I was not gonna go. This is really cool. Really, really cool. So I'm guessing that you have to go. Lance and his water vaders, guys. He loves lava and water vaders. And I'm sure if you could make a lava vader, he would. I'm almost sure that he would. As a matter of fact, when we first started playing the game, um, Cosmic Mermaid died in a lava, um, trying to swim up a water vader. Now that I think about it, I believe that might have been Lance's build because it had a lot of lava and I feel like that was Lance. Okay, this is, this is locked. What is this, by the way? That's the guild workshop. I don't have any permissions to the guild workshop. Uh, <laughs> um, which is fine. I've got my own workshop and I'm, you know, whatever. Um, let's see. Did I sound like bitter for <laughs> Bitter? I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter, really, I'm not. Um, okay, so. Uh, you got a little tour of the hub. I didn't mean to go in places, but you know how distracted I get. I'm trying not to make this a 30 minute video, guys, but I think it might end up being that just for me running my mouth. Um, I love this Asian style build. That is actually my next goal is to start an Asian themed um, like area. And this is one of our new people, oh, King. Um, I'm just gonna say hey to him. Uh, let's see. He's died quite a bit in the game, guys. He's died. Not that I can talk, as you can probably look at my UI and see Aye. that I've died quite a bit. Dubio. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Um, yeah, where were we? Okay, so this is another little plaza here. Um, Digby's got some boat builds over here. One of them is a work in progress. This one is a battleship on for Red October. Um, and okay, so we've, we looked at that initiation. Try it out. You can come try it out. You don't have to be a part of the guild to check it out. Uh, this is the Imagination District. I did say that these were all um different districts i didn't tell you which one so this is central district back here is bayport there's a raven's shore district um this is the imagination district this is primarily where lance builds and mb um does have some builds over here too um pretty much the theme the running theme is lava and danger um yeah see see Oh, this is new. This is new. He's updated some things. Yeah, I like it. I do love the gold. He does love gold and reds and blacks. Is there such thing as blacks? I mean, it's like there's like off black and dark black and full black or whatever. So you've got golds and reds and black. That's that's definitely a Lance theme. And you know what? It goes well together. I like it. It's all Lance. It goes, you see, this this is perfect. This all meshes well together. He loves angles and um, like I said, lava and danger. This is a Viking build. I feel like this could go in the Viking district. I really do. It, it works well. It works really well. Um, he's got like a, a rainbow theme going here. Um, I love that boat. I really love that ship. So we're just gonna run over here really quick. I love this gazebo. Yeah, you guys, I'm just running all the place. I'm not taking any pathways. This is really cool, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should do a gazebo build. All right, so I, I really should be taking paths because there's no telling where lava's gonna be and I could end up dead. And that would be embarrassing. Although I've died on video on so many times. I'm used to it by now. Just really am. All right, so this is cool. See all this lava? Look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is this is Lance, okay? Um, okay, so this was and this this is Ravenshire District right here. Um, there's a lot going on over here. This is the other side of the walkway. Uh -huh. um, and you could probably, I think he might have taken the portal down. No, there's a portal right there. Um, we won't go up there, but um, yeah. So there's a lot going on, or a lot going to go on, or something like that. Um, but some plan builds over here, and there's some people building over here now, too. I don't know who's building there. 
That looks kind of cool. I like the colors on that. I like that blue. I'm kind of curious what that blue is. Mm, I don't know. Okay, and then, of course, um, no, okay, we already looked at it. We're going back into the Imagination District so I can uh, show you more. So, yeah, I'm really, like, quickly running through this stuff, you guys, but realize that this is quite a lot to look at um, in just a small area. And this is not even the biggest city by by no means. Those of you who play Boundless, you know this. Those of you who don't, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know this. Okay. Um, okay, so over here is um, an MB build. One of her many builds. I love her eye for detail as well. I love her, her style. Um, she kind of um, embodies like a... I don't know. I would say like fan fantasy, realistic type. And this looks kind of modern. I, I would say modern. Modern, realistic modern, maybe. I don't know. I'm not an architect. I'm not. Um, so, yeah. So let's head up here. I'm trying to find, like, the safest way to get down. Um, okay, is this, like, okay, this is the pathway. Can we, can we jump up here? Yeah. <laughs> just across some people's yards. So, MB is over here. So we're just going to run over here really quick. And I'm going to show you. Look, look at that. Um, yeah, this is another one of his Tower of Terrors. But it's cool, right? Here's my thing. How do you guys not, like, clinch up building stuff like this? Like, I would straight up clinch up. So this is a Golden Skull District. Oh, there's another part of the, um, well, you know what? You can, you can, you can come visit. Okay, you can come visit. But this is the Golden Skull District. You see the skulls and stuff. This kind of has a skull look, right? Yeah, it's a cool, golden skull. Um, that's really cool. So yeah, look at this. This right here is impressive. Like, I love this. Lance is really good with chisels. Me, not so much, but I do love a good chisel, whatever that means. Um, but this is really, really cool. And what is this over here? Oh, this is the... Um, now this is cool. This looks like abstract art. And I'm not sure if this person's part of the guild, but I like it. And then there's something over there. I don't know if they're part of the guild or not. Oh, we got pets. We got pets. Okay, so this is, um, this was a recent build. Probably put up in like five minutes. I'll go over there and show you that too. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. It's awesome. It's awesome. So this is their temple of... Sitar. Sitar is a god of stars and guild recruiting over the generations to become a very unknown if this god ever if this god is ever truly real. Okay, well let me just say this. I'm just not. Okay, so um this is a really cool build. I love the colors this has going on. Um I don't know who built this. I wanna say this is um I wanna say this is a very lance like build. Um, I love the color scheme. I, I do. I really think it's amazing. Um, I love how the lighting reflects off the top here, right? And then like the Medusa type tentacles, really cool. All right, so we're going to go over here and check out MB's, uh, oh, look, listen, look it. You would think that I just started playing the game. I can't, can't even walk. So MB has, um, a, um, what is this? Obser observation. Uh, thing. So we're just going to run over here really quick. We have pets. Listen. You are rude. Oh, he almost died. He was almost dead anyway. I'll take your meat though. I'll take that. Thank you very much. So this is really, really cool. I love this. And now I had an idea for a dome myself over my um, kindling farm. Uh, so I'm going to actually come over here and take copious notes to figure out how to actually build that we go ahead and take this portal back to the um, main hub. Okay, so I told you guys we are divided up into districts. These are the portals to each district. We have a Lunacy District, Ravenwood District, Gold Skull, Paradise District, Purple Rain District. I'm wondering what Paradise District is. I think this is Digby's area. Yeah, Paradise District. Okay, so we went to the Gold Skull. I'm wondering what Lunacy is. I feel like lunacy is like lunacy like crazy. So here's the Skyrim-esque type build. I feel like this is like Yorviskar or something like that. Yorviskar. 
Anyways, um, this is this is really cool. I love it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and over here we have. I said I wasn't gonna go in these builds. I did, but you can see that I can't even follow my own directions. Um, all right, so over here is another Odin's Manor. I like it. I'm trying to see what this is over here. I'm interested because I've never seen this. This is new. This is actually really new. Who is this? Um, I don't know who that is. Is this somebody new to the game? Okay, we got it. Okay, it's gonna say we have visitors. That's actually really cool. You know, gleam, all gleam builds can be difficult to carry off, but this this isn't bad. That isn't bad at all. Um, we've got a couple more builds to take a gander at, and then we're going to go ahead and end it here. So, um, here we are. This is, I don't know if this is a lighthouse. You know what this looks like? Um, like the seven wonders of the world. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Or is it eight wonders? It's seven wonders. Let me know in the comments if it's seven or eight. But this is what that looks like, that big lighthouse from the Seven Wonders of the World. Um, that's what that kind of reminds me of. I don't know if that is what that is, but that's what it looks like to me, okay? But I think that's really cool. Um, and this is the portal to where? Okay, this is to the portal hub, okay. So yeah, there's that. And then I think we have one more build, and then I think we do, I think we do. Or wait, did we look at this one already? I don't know, did we? No, we did not. Wait a minute, who did this? Oh, I love this. Oh, this is blood. This is, this is, is this Blood Raven? Oh, look it. Oh, yes. Yes. I love this so much. Oh, my gosh. This is totally up. This is like, this is totally me right here. I might have to bite off your, your design. Not like the full design, but I love what you did with the, the, um, the whole detail yeah love it absolutely love it all right guys that is all i have for you today this is the 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 start of a new series like i said before of um things to come basically i'm going to do the hidden gems of boundless so i hope you guys are enjoying this series so far um and uh i have some people on the forums who've given me some great cities to take a look at and I will um, definitely take a look at those cities um, so if you have any other suggestions please let me know It'd be greatly appreciated because I don't know where all these places are and sometimes I just come across things in my own exploration and I haven't really done a lot of exploring myself lately but maybe that's something that I should definitely do but again if there is a city that you've come across and it's not very well known or you would just like me to come take a gander by all means let me know all right until next time i have been pixelated twix she is luna shell ciao